That's like an, is that an onion? Oh no, that's a hazelnut. <laughs> that's definitely not an onion. <laughs> Hey everyone, there's a Tegos, and today I will be unboxing Woodcraft. Um, that is a game that, of course, I saw at Spiel, and I was about to take it with me, but then I didn't. Um, it's kind of hard to get at the table, but I have a solo mode, so I just was kind of torn, but this was one of the games that spoke most to me um, theme-wise and also uh, mechanism-wise before Spiel. Um, you might remember the video I made on my most anticipated game for Spiel 2022. So, well, now I actually um, caved in and now I got it. So we will be unboxing that. Um, I don't know how exciting it will be to unbox, but I'm definitely looking forward to looking at the contents of this. All right, so this is a game that is kind of hard to get to the table. It's definitely, um, doesn't have a, it definitely has a higher weight than other games. It plays in one and a half to two and a half hours. So it also plays quite a, quite a bit, but you can play it solo. So that is one thing that is pretty cool. All right, so on the sides, we pretty much just have the Woodcraft logo. And then at the back, um, which is really nice, which I really, really appreciate. We have like the entire setup like for a four player game so you see how the game looks like in action which is pretty cool all right this is the german version but it doesn't really matter because the game is language neutral as far as i know i'm pretty sure so that shouldn't be an issue all right so let's open this up okay so uh, let me just put that away here okay great that actually looks pretty cool so, all right, so we start with the rule book as usual. So let's take a look here. Okay, so it says that it's this is um, a challenging board game. Um, and here we go. All right, so this is the, um, the, the components here. Quite a few components actually, but then again, a lot of cards. So I think it's going to be okay. Um, here's a little bit about woodworking because that's what the game is about and then here we have the setup and you know I really like it when the setup is um, has a good overview or gives a good overview over the game and that's definitely what it does here so very nice to see uh, like the layout um, in the middle here and also for one player no I don't think so um, that is just the general layout um, you see everything is numbered again and even with colors which is great so this is really, really well done, really good layout. And here we have like the player, like layout for each player. Really, really nice. Okay, cool. So here we have then the starting cards and here we have like how, um, how a turn works, like the actions you have, free actions. And oh, here's an overview over the wheel in the middle. Okay, that is exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Like, it seems like there are a lot of like examples. That's pretty good. Um, and then here we have all the actions you can do. It's all laid out really well, right? So you can see it all really well. That is wonderful. Really well done. But there's a lot of rules, wow. So yeah, I like I do like the layout. And like you see like this little boxes and examples and everything looks really well made here, but wow, it's a lot. This is something that I will, uh, that I can read up on um, at night because that's one thing I really like to do, just reading rules at night. But so this is done really well. I really like the um, rule book, but it's a lot to get through. Here are all the symbols, so you know what all these symbols do. And then um, we also have like the most important rules here. Um, okay, that is pretty nice. All right, and then here we are, oh, okay. So here we actually have like another sheet of paper that just um, gives you like the effects for all the helpers. Nice, really cool. Okay, so, and then we can continue here. So what do we have? Okay, cool. Um, I don't know what to start with. I think we should rather start with everything in the bags and then we will look at the punch boards. I think that's a good idea. So here are like, are these tiles or cards? It looks like, oh, I think these are cards. They just look like tiles. Uh, let me just get them out here. Okay, so, ah, they are like thin, okay. Um, they have a, yeah, they have a standard quality, right? Nothing too special, but that is okay. I mean, it's not a game 
that um, you will have to shuffle like these cards here will they won't have to shuffle a lot and also um there are a lot of cards if they made them in like a really good quality it would just probably be a little bit too much i think all right the camera was slightly out of focus but now it should work um so sorry about that okay so yeah okay really nice artwork um really really cool artwork like all these i don't know are these elves maybe wood elves or something i'm not quite sure but it looks really cool with the green hair and everything um really nice i really really like the artwork here it looks nice and these are some different cards ah these are the actions the actions ah these are the actions that are explained in the rule book here okay cool very nice and these are i don't know what these do but they all look really nice. And there's some food and some beer, I guess. And oh, oh, a turtle. I love turtles. Actually, my most favorite animal. Just a little bit of uh, Thekos trivia here. Okay, really cool. I like that. Then we have, I think these are just for the wheel, right? So, so you can um, put together the wheel. We don't really have to look at that. This is something that probably just fell out of the one of the punch boards. Um, so let's take a look at these dice. These seem to be like standard wooden dice, but I mean, that fits the theme, right? Made from wood and oath. That's actually a nice brown here. I don't know if you can see it here um, too well uh, through the camera lens, so to speak, but this is a really nice wooden brown and also a nice green. And we also have some yellow here, as I can see. Let me get it out. There we go. So yeah, really nice. These, oh, these look really nice. Great coloring um, the size is just Great, uh, just right, not too large, not too small. I like that. These look really cool. Yeah, standard wooden dice, but um, with night, nice coloring. Okay, and then we have a few more tokens here. Yeah, just, these are just pretty standard tokens, but I mean, that's fine. That's totally fine, right? So we have like wooden discs, silver, and also wooden, brown wooden cubes. Um, and we do have similar ones over here, I can see. There's just so much to look at, <laughs> which is always a good thing. And here, a uh, pretty similar affair, right? So we have like uh, purple, blue, and white, and orange cubes, just regular wooden cubes. Um, and then we have these discs. I really enjoy that there is, um, so far there is no plastic. There are no plastic components. It's all like wooden components, which I mean, that does fit the theme, right? I mean, it's a game about woodworking and the components are made from wood. Well, I shouldn't have spoken. There's actually a little bit of plastic there, unfortunately, but maybe that's maybe that's necessary because these are kind of see-through, so a little bit translucent. So maybe you have to look through them. I don't know, maybe. But these are like pretty cool, like cool uh, yellow, uh, yellow tokens here. Okay, cool. Um, so what else do we have? We have more cards here. That's like an, is that an onion? Oh no, that's a hazelnut. <laughs> that's definitely not an onion. <laughs> okay, so um, so yeah. Oh, that's it back. Yeah, there we go, there we go. So these are, these look similar to some cards we looked at here. Here, these cards. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they're different backs, but they look kind of similar. So I guess, yeah, they need to be, need to do something similar. So there are some dice values. I guess you um, need dice, specific dice values, like dice in specific colors with specific values to get these cards. Like these are probably just things that you build from wood, right? So that's kind of what I think. Oh, that's, that's a cool drum set. Um, so that's, I guess. And then you also need like maybe some of these cubes and these, um, these plastic tokens. I guess that's what you need to kind of fulfill something um like to build these wooden uh furniture components items um like that right so we have a lot of baggies here we will probably i don't know what, well we will have to need them for the punch board here all right and then here we have like one of the um one of the boards that we put out on the table pretty cool it's double-sided we do have four here and we have one two three here so that is for one two and three players this side of the board and the other one for four. Okay, really nice artwork. It's really clean. You know what I mean? It's like really, really clean, right? It's not too cluttered. It's like straight lines and nice colors. They really pop. 
We have that green and blue and then the red here. That's totally a co total contrast to the other colors. I really like that design. Very well done. And here's the other board. Also very clean again because we have that uh, brown and green. Yeah, that fits. And then we have that yellow here that really sticks out. It really pops. Woodcraft. Yes. That is the game indeed. Very, very nice. Okay. And now let's look, take a look at the punch boards, what we have here. So these are the, I think these go into the, into the wheel somehow, I think. They're double-sided as well. I like that, I don't know if you pay with those, but they're like blueberries here. I guess you pay with these because we have five and tens here. That's pretty, pretty cool. Um, I just love that idea of paying with blueberries. So the, the cardboard tokens here, yeah, they are definitely thick enough. Um, I've had thick cardboard, but we don't need any more than that. That is totally fine. Um, and this, I don't know what all of that is, but it looks nice. But I can't say anything about it because, well, obviously I haven't played the game yet. I would have liked to play it at Spiel, but there was no uh, uh, opportunity to do so. I definitely need to organize it uh, differently next year, or we will have to organize it differently, so um, we can actually play a few more games. What's here? What's going on here? So these are regular blueberries, and these here, they have like some kind of red border. Ah, that's probably just a misprint, I guess. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah that's just like a pink border kind of thing. That's probably the underlay or something that's um, like the lower layer or something. So I just guess that's a minimal misprint, but that that's fine. That's totally fine. And here we have just more tokens that do stuff. Here, ah, this is where the trees fell out. These trees, I think, Oh, I forgot what you could do with them because I actually read up a lot about the game prior to Spiel and I forgot. But these trees, you can do something with them. I'm not quite sure. Um, so let me just uh, take all of that out. So, uh, so we have like these saw blades. These are there so you can actually cut your dice, so to speak. Cutting your dice means if you have like a six foot, Okay, that was not intended. If you have a six, for example, here, let's take the nice brown one, that's my favorite one. Um, and then you can cut your dice, so you actually have like a three and a three, for example. I think that kind of how it works. I mean, I obviously haven't played the game yet, but uh, my research prior to Spiel unearthed that. Okay, and here we have the saw blade, and these trees look really nice as well. I just, I really like the art style here. And, oh, I guess these are the player, the player boards. These are the player boards here. Tilia, Cassia, Betula. No, only three? Ah, oh, there's one more. Uh, Coelum, I'm not quite sure. But these, really nice. So this is your workshop and you can like put, I think here we put the helper cards, I think. And here you can put, I don't know, maybe your saw blades, I don't, or maybe the items that you have to make, I have no idea. And here you plant your trees. So yeah, pretty cool. I like that. I really like the look of that. And on the other side, oh, nice. You have some artwork here, um, uh, noting your player name, I guess, right? Um, so really, really cool. Nice, that looks great. And we're almost through because all that's left now is first, like these components. Oh, cool. You have like these little tools here. Oh, that is cute. Oh, that's what you put up here in the house because that's the right size, you see? You put those in there. And then you can do stuff with them. We have lanterns here, whatever they do. And we have like these with an arrow. And when you turn them around, you have the arrow again. Okay, cool. This looks really nice. Really clean art style again here. Like really clean lines and everything. I like that. I really like the art style here. And here is like the wheel. Do we have two sides? Oh, this is just um, for fluff. But I like that a lot. I mean, they put everything, like they put stuff on each back side of all the boards, which is not necessary, right? They could have just left it, but it's a nice touch. So you have the feeling you always have something, right? Even if you just look at the back side when unpacking the game or something, you still feel like it's like a real component. And here's the wheel. That's like the main, the main attraction or the main centerpiece, but I don't know how it works. So something you can do with hazelnuts and blueberries and you can get stuff, I suppose. And this is where you put like these, these little um, um, trapezoids in that, I think that's how you call them, um, that we saw on the other punch board that I can't really get to now, but that's where you put them in. I don't know what then happens, but really cool. And this is where you put in like the, probably the saw blade, right? Um, well, let me just get it. 
you probably remember the saw blade. Uh, this one here. This one right here, right? This is where you put it in the middle probably. Makes sense because there are some windows here and then you can see stuff, right? Okay, really cool. I like that. Uh, yeah, and that is pretty much my unboxing of Woodcraft. I think we, oops, have now seen everything. So yeah, um, this looks really nice. Um, the rules are explained really well. I like the art style. Um, the theme is wonderful. Um, it's a really cool theme. And you know, um, some people say that theme isn't the most important thing. It's true, it's not the most important thing, but for me it's very important. But some games actually manage it to blend theme and mechanisms together really well. And I do get the feeling that this game kind of does that because, well, you are woodworking, right? And you are cutting your dice, you are gluing your dice, right? Um, and that's what you do with wood as well. So the theme does fit here. Um, whether or not it's well realized, whether or not I would like the game, I don't know. And this will probably be a huge game to uh, record and set up, but I would really like to record it for you at some point. It will be in the further future, so to speak, in the, yeah, because I can't, uh, I have so many other projects that I still want to uh, realize and film for you and everything. So um, I think this will be farther in the future, but maybe, maybe not. Maybe I will play the game quite soon. I'm pretty sure I will. And if I like it really, really like it a lot, then I might actually play it a little bit earlier. All right. So let me just get the cover here. So that was my unboxing of Woodcraft. Um, Since I recorded this video before I went live, I'm adding this while editing. I want to thank all of you for your support and especially my patrons who are generously supporting me on Patreon. Also a big shout out to Thagrenol, who is currently my biggest supporter. Thank you so much for that. If you also want to support me, why don't you head over to my Patreon. You'll find the link in this video's description. I really enjoy what I see here. So um, I hope you enjoyed my little unboxing. If you did, why don't you let me know? By liking and commenting, I would really appreciate that. You can also subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up to date with my content. Um, that would really make my day. Also, you can join my Discord server in case you would like to hang out with me and my community. And apart from that, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the very next video. All right, take care, everyone, and cheers.